Hello? Tap tap, is this thing on? Uh, oh, oh. oh this, uh, this is ridiculous. <clears throat> no, all right. It is I. Uh, no, no. It is I. No. It is I. Uh, it is I. Uh, no. It is I. Ooh. All right, all right. It is I, the frumious, nefarious, number one record holder for number of cheese balls a human being can fit in their mouth, Dr. Nihilus. Let it be known that if I do not receive a notarized document within uh, 24 hours, I will utilize my newest creation to reboot all life in the universe, the metaphysical existence alternate through light oscillation and amplification and film, or as I like to call it, meatloaf! Global panic tonight as the notorious Dr. Nihilus has threatened to destroy the world with his meatloaf device if he does not receive the meaning of life. The president tweeted at the doctor asking if he would prefer the meaning of death instead, in some vague threat insinuating that the doctor had a small brain and even smaller penis. The doctor replied to the president stating, no you, prompting the president to go into an existential crisis and eventually killing himself. The vice president has now taken over control and is expected to call in a claimed super spy, Tim Possible, who allegedly stopped the 2010 John Stamos' assassination attempt. Tim Possible has not been seen since 2016 and leaves the world with only one question. Where is he now? Right here, Perfect! Perfect, I'm right here! Jesus, I'm Perfect! Can you hear me? Uh, of course, sir. Then act like it! Start the car, Perfect! Right away, sir. Perfect, which one is it again? The red wire or the blue wire? Sir, might I remind you that you are colorblind? All right. I forget that every time. I guess we're gonna have to hop it out of here then before it explodes, Perfect. Fantastic idea, sir. But you should know we only have five seconds. Shit! Go, Perfect, go! Shit, 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 shit. Shit. God. Impossible? Who wants to know? I'm Agent Alexander Gent, but you can call me Agent Agent. Here's my card. That's a big business card. We're a big deal. I'm with the Protectors of America, systematically trained for reconnaissance of missions impossible. We've been paying rather close attention to you and the work you've been doing, Tim. We'd like to offer you a job. Really? A job for pastrami? Yes, really. But you should know that the job would be a little ways away. Oh, well. A little distance never hurt anybody. Where is it? It's in, uh, Florida. Oh God, why? We know it's not the most optimal location. However, if you want to play with the big kids, this is your chance. Oh wow, I can't wait. Proofric's gonna be so excited. Oh, well, see, the agency only sent me to recruit you and not Proofric. Oh, well, uh... Not to worry, you have my card. Call us when you made up your mind. And one last thing. If you're going to work for us, we have one final mission we'd like to see you carry out with your current agency. Can you do that? I suppose so, yes. What's all this about, sir? I've got the information for your next mission, if you'd like to hear it. Of course we would. I couldn't think of a single reason why we wouldn't. Could you, Prufric? Uh, no, sir. Well, in that case, three days ago, the despicable Dr. Nihilus escaped from what we had previously believed to be our most tippy-toppy, secretest prison in the North American wilderness. He resurfaced today three hours ago when he posted a video on YouTube demanding the meaning of life, lest he use his meatloaf device to reboot the universe. What does lest mean? I don't know, sir. If Dr. Nihilus successfully reboots the universe 69 times, the cosmic audience will no longer be invested in our existence and our universe will be scrapped for good. So we just have to stop him from getting to 69? Sounds simple enough. So it would seem that the time necessary for the meatloaf device to recharge shrinks exponentially. 
so the time between reboots gets smaller each time. Like the Spider-Man franchise. Exactly like the Spider-Man franchise. Your mission, should you accept to accept it. Wait, isn't it usually choose? What? Yeah, isn't it like your mission, should you choose? Yada, 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 yada. I can't be the only one who thinks that, right, Rupert? Uh, no, sir, I'm with you. I think you're right. Fine. Your mission, should you choose to choose it, is to find Dr. Nihilus, retrieve meatloaf, and save the world. Perfect. Wait a minute, aren't these messages you usually supposed to self? Okay, there it is. Uh, Proofrick, you ready? Almost always, sir. Then let's rock and roll. God, where is this guy? He was supposed to be here 30 minutes ago. I have all those nefarious personality traits, sir. I don't think a single one of them is punctuality. Well, I mean, I guess we could come back later. Well, well, well. If it isn't the world's smelliest super spy, it is even smellier, even stupider butler. I don't think you smell bad, sir. Thank you, Perfect. I don't... I don't think you smell bad either. Do you think I'm stupid, sir? No, Prufrick, I hesitate to say that you are above, if not slightly above, average intelligence. Are you positive, sir? Yes, Prufrick, I'm positive. Can we get back to this? You ready? Yes, sir. Dr. Nihilus, by the power vested in me, you are under arrest for terrorism and for threat of global destruction. Global destruction? Whoa, 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 whoa. All I want is the meaning of life. But if anyone gets in my way, well, you can bet your ass I'll destroy all life this planet has to offer. You're a fool! A fool? Last I checked, I was a smart mouth, slick speaking, smooth talking bastard with a tongue that could drive any sane man to kill. But sure, go off, I guess. Anyway, do you have the stuff I asked for? A notarized document, all that good stuff? Proofrick, can you tell the doctor what the only thing we have for him is? I know you said an ice-cold can of whoop -ass, but I should rather like to offer him a sample of our love song I've been working on. Uh, you're always saying to get feedback. An ice-cold can of whoop -ass. Oh, an ice-cold... Oh, that's nice. Uh, did I not make myself clear? Oh, no? Oh, perhaps I should elucidate something. Bandersnatch, if you would. Oh, oh I, I don't know if you've met my new henchman, Bandersnatch. Uh, Bander, say hi. Salutations. Okay, uh, anyway, if you don't have the meaning of life for me, I I'm gonna push this button. So, unless you have anything to offer me... Proofrick, yeah. You got anything? Uh, be nice to each other? Uh, be nice to each other? Uh, that's, that's hysterical. Uh, anyway, uh, let's blow this off the up there. Life hasn't always been this grim. When we were kids, we would laugh, play, dance. But now, there's nothing left. Nothing makes sense anymore. We live in a meaningless world, fighting for meaningless causes, fighting for life, fighting for death. Most of the time, just fighting because it's all we have. I still remember the day they walked through my door same way everybody does, asking for something. You Sam Lemon? Who's asking? Possible. Tim Possible. Possible, huh? Aren't you the guy who failed to save the world? No. Different guy. Shame. I was really hoping to meet that guy. Shame indeed. Sam Lemon, private investigator, do missing persons, no murders. Isn't murder just missing from life? You're funny. We're looking for a friend. He escaped with something that belongs to us. Oh really? I heard that thing belongs to him. Even if it does, do you know where we can find him? What's in it for me? Consider it your good deed for today. As if. Well, what do you want? 
Listen, there ain't nothing around here means anything to me. I just live, same as anybody else. It's not a crime, is it? No, no crime, ma'am. Proofing, is that a crime? No, sir. He speaks. When he wants. I'm impressed, you're smarter than you look. And you're wasting my time, Levin. Can you help us or not? Everybody knows where he is. Not that it matters. He beat you once, he'll beat you again. He wants to cut a deal with you. Meaning of life for the button. Is that simple, is it? Right. You want the meaning of life, you'll have to find a wizard. The what? Of course there's a wizard. He lives in the heart of the forest, so you can't take a car, but you can't get there on foot either. It's too far away. So... So you'll need a means of transportation. I have some bikes up back you can use, but you should wait till the storm clears up. It's straightforward. Just keep down the road and you'll get there before nightfall. You can come with us, you know. I don't waste my time on fairy tales. As long as I've been alive, I've never seen a cause worth fighting for. You want to throw away your life on a wild goose chase for me? Then go right ahead. But me? I'm happy fighting the way I do. As long as I get to wake up in the morning. You've been a great help to us, ma'am. Do let us know if there's anything we can do for your return. Perhaps you'd like to hear a love song I've been working on for quite a while now. I think it's quite good. It's... It's, it's fine. <laughs> you don't have to do that. I wish you on your journey. Happy travels. Set up camp here. Great idea, sir. Say, Prufric? Yes, sir. Can I ask you sort of a hypothetical question? Anything, sir. Say you had a friend, and this friend. That's a little far fetched, don't you think, sir? Good one, Prufric. Anyway, so you had a friend, and this friend was offered a job as a much more important agency than the one he was currently working. He could finally do what he was born to do. His dream job, fighting for what he thinks is right. But he'd be leaving his best friend behind. The guy who makes all of his days fantastic. What would you tell that friend? Is this about you, sir? No, Prufric. Not at all. Not at all. Just a hypothetical. No. Uh, well, in that case, in this hypothetical situation, mm -hmm. I don't think there's one set right answer. What do you mean? Well, I think you know, a friend could find happiness in... Whichever uh, path he chooses, if he chooses the agency, it sounds like he'll be a big cog in a, a l small cog rather, in a larger machine, helping millions of people. Although, if he stayed with his friend, he'd be a, a big change in a, a sm this one person's life. Right. I don't think there's a one set answer for your friend. A one answer that'll satisfy him completely, and no one has the authority to uh, tell him which one to choose. There's only one person who can decide that. Really? 
Only one. How many people live your life, sir? One. I guess you're right, Proofrick. <sighs> well. Anytime. Thank you. Anytime, sir. I'm just. Gl I'm glad you were kidding around, though. I. I don't. I don't know what I'd do without you, sir. <laughs> Good thing you were just messing. <laughs> yeah. Good thing. Shall I lull us to sleep with my love song, sir? No, I think I'm just gonna go to sleep, Proofrick. But thank you. Good night, sir. Good night, Proofrick. Give him a few more perks, he'll wake up. Oh, oh my god! Greetings! I am Crigley the Wizard, and this is my goblin compatriot, Greg. Say hello, Greg. So, I am the guardian of all knowledge humanity could ever dream to possess. What is it that you seek? We, uh, we, we seek the meaning of life. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Quite the treasure indeed. And what is your name? My name is Tim Possible, and this is my faithful butler, Proofric. Proofric! You wouldn't happen to be related to James Alfred Proofrook, would you? Oh no, that's my father. I'm Jeeves Alfred Proofrook. Oh, I do believe our fathers went to college together. How interesting. I, I must let him know. What was your father's name? Proofrook, I don't know if we have time for all this. Nonsense, Timothy. We have times for all things important. And this is something that I deem to be quite very important indeed. My father's name was Cragley, but he went by Crag. I'll be sure to let him know that we crossed paths. Oh, h how nice of you. Though, we could use your help if you can assist us. We're looking for the meaning of life, and that's rather important. So, that's how most of our time needs to be spent right now. Well, if you're going to learn the meaning of life, you're going to have to be worthy. Worthy? Worthy. What can it take to become worthy? Grab a sword, lift a hammer? Come on, it can't be that hard. Whoa! Whoa! Crigley. Crigley. I think that these guys are taking worthiness as a joke. Calm down, Gregory. I just think that they don't understand what it means to be worthy. Isn't that right, Timothy? You don't understand? Right. Right. So, Greg, why don't you tell them what they need to do in order to be worthy? Well, Crigley, what they have to do is they have to train. Train? Come on, I think we can handle that, right, Proofric? Almost certainly, sir. Then let's rock and roll. Keep it up, Tim. Dr. Dyers can do way more push-ups than you. No, he can't. Yes, he can. No, we can't. I'm gonna read mine. I'm Long poems, if you do not, keep going. I don't need that. <laughs> Gregory, did I ever tell you about the time that my wizard compatriot blasted the clothes of one of his adversaries into another dimension? No. It was quite wild. They were in a, in a woodland and they had a little scruff beforehand and then poof, they were gone. Whoa. Oh, Crigley, we're home. Where have you guys been? I've been waiting for you here for hours. Hours? For us, it just felt like a couple minutes. Guess that's the power of a montage. 
Anyway, I suppose you'll be wanting the meaning of life now. Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. The meaning of life is... is... Pokemon! Yeah! What? Pokemon. You know, like Pikachu, Blastoise, Jigglypuff, Pokemon. Pokemon, is that like... is that like a metaphor or something? No, not at all. Uh, the more Pokemon cards you collect, the more meaningful your life is. And for me, I have several hundred thousand. And for example, Greg, Greg here has... How many do you have, Greg? Six. Six. I thought you'd said you'd start collecting them. Uh, well, well I, I forgot. Well, for, in that case, then Gregory's life is absolutely worthless. When they say you've got to catch them all, they mean it. Have you guys been collecting Pokemon cards? Proofric, have you been, uh, collecting Pokemon cards? Uh, no, sir. Sorry about that. Well, that's disappointing. That's it, then. Came all this way, rode our bikes, did that stupid montage... Hey! For nothing! It's absurd! The amount of effort we put in for absolutely nothing... It's... It's... It's almost like the people who are still watching! That's it. I'm done. I'm taking care of Dr. Nihilus myself. But, sir... No. If the meaning of life is Pokemon, then nothing we did up to this point matters. So for all intents and purposes, there is no meaning of life. So I'm gonna go kill Dr. Nihilus. Damn. You know, a friend is going to fail again, thinking like that. Is the meaning of life really Pokemon? <laughs> yes, well, for me anyway. <laughs> oh my god, it was a metaphor. Is there any way I can beat Dr. Nihilus without telling him the secret of life? <laughs> You're going to need an army. Do you know where I could find one? The Jean Jacket Boys. Got him, boss! Oh, great! Tie him up! Why are you doing this? What could you possibly have to gain? You know... I'm so glad you asked. You could not have given me a more perfect opportunity to explain my evil plan. Banner Thatch, cue the music. When I was a little boy, my favorite little boy toy broke and crumbled right down in my little hands, so I just began to cry. I thought that truly there has to be A reason for this I just cannot see All my suffering and strife can't just be part of life So a meaning there truly must be I began to look and search in every cult and church For the meaning dictated by the gods Oh by the gods! But I couldn't find something I could mine Oh nothing truly struck my fancy, don't you see? So then I asked around, but I never found A meaning of life that I could ever really love And that led me to conclude with lots of certitude That life there is no meaning of So wait, let me get this straight Without no meaning was quite adequate So you made the meatloaf device This earth is surely not a paradise So you will destroy earth and sky Cause no meaning of life was supplied Yes, you're catching on fast! Exist you can't kiss my ass! If there's no reason to live, then goodbye! I don't think a 
agree. The wizard just told me, Pokemon's why we're here. But I don't think that's true either. No, perhaps there's something to be said for looking like you said. Even though you haven't found it, that doesn't mean it isn't there. Meaning, my friend, is something we can create, and life is more than just despair. Oh, you stupid fool! Why did I ever think that you could understand? You really ought to know that if you live your life looking for something that you do not find, you failed. You should know by now, I call it nihilism, named after myself. Well, that was obvious. I uh, know you don't get to talk right now. No, this is my time to monologue. The way you live your life and the way that I live my life aren't so different. We will both still die, so then why does it matter? Short answer is it doesn't. Nihilism for the win. Nihilism rules. Not that my opinion matters because nothing does. Oh, classic nihilism. You almost make life worth living. Just kidding. No, you obviously don't. Uh, good afternoon. I don't suppose you know where we could find the Jean Jacket Boys? I'm sorry, what? The Jean Jacket Boys, J E. Yeah, I, I heard what you said, I just, I have no idea what you're talking about. So. Uh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, they don't really work here, they just kind of hang out in the parking lot and f everything up. And where exactly would one find the parking lot? Oh, it's, it's right there. Oh! Hi, I'm looking for the Jean Jacket Boys. J E A. We heard what you said. Oh, great. Well, then you all must be the Jean Jacket Boys on account of all your Jean Jackets. Yeah, that's us. Who's asking? Oh, well, I'm Proofreak, and this is Krigley the Wizard, and that's Greg. Sup? We didn't suppose you could share with us your names. Well, I'm Skip, Jeffrey, Jermaine, Steven, Tyler, Perry, Leonardo, DiCaprio, and Clint. Oh, that's nice. Would you like to join our army? Maybe. Do we get to kill anyone? No, there will be no killing. Huh. That's a deal breaker. Well, maybe if we get to cripple someone. No, there'll be no crippling either. What about uh, karate moves that make you <laughs> themselves so they die? Um, I have no idea how that would be useful, but you can fight however way you like. We just need the manpower. So are you in? I suppose. Under one condition. I swear to God, at this point, I don't even know if it's worth it. Tell us what we're fighting for. To save the world! Money! And hookers! Now that's a cause worth fighting for. What do you say, boys? Yeah! Great. So are y'all in, or...? Depends. We're in. If you could do a sick trick on my scoot here. Oh, uh, well, I don't... I'll do it! I'll do it. What's up now, bitches? Great, turn that off. We don't have to fight, just give us the button. Over your dead body! Very well then. Skip, your guys ready? Your lives peak today, boys. Everyone else? Nope. I have so much riding on this. Woo! Let's do this! I believe it's time for an ice cold can of whoop ass. Woo! Charge!
Yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got in this situation. <laughs> this song doesn't rock. Let us go then, you and I. When the evening is spread across the sky. I like a... actually love modernist poetry. Wait, stop! You'll break his arm! Oh my! Yes! Yes! You came back. Yeah, well, I figured maybe some things are worth fighting for. Don't just stand there! Go save Tim! Right! Dr. Nihilus went that way. If we get him now, we can stop him from using the meatloaf device anymore. What are you guys waiting for? Come on! You know we can't go with you, right, sir? What are you talking about? Tim, this is more than just a normal fight for you. I know that by now. What do you mean? Come on! It means you're the only one who can defeat Dr. Nihilus. So? You guys can still come and help me. We can get you to the door, but this is a fight every man must fight alone. Why? The fight of your life? So I like- I still don't understand I'm what- I'm so sorry, Tim, but I'm afraid you're going to have to sit back down. No, Tim, we've got this. Just come with me. She can't run. She has knives for her hands. That's way too dangerous. Go, now! Ah, oh, fine. Let's rock and roll. End of the line. Any last words? It appears now that all hope is lost forever. For you. What? Karate tell me to shoot yourself till you die! <laughs> I suppose that was useful, after all. Oh yeah! Oh, suck it! Suck it! Oh, God. No! 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 Skip! What? Tell my wife! Anything, yes! Tell my wife I cheated on her! <laughs> Tim frantically burst through the door, searching for Dr. Nihilus! Alack, he was nowhere to be found, so Tim bolted down the stairs, but still nothing. Tim drew from the depths of his soul, putting everything on the line, clinging to the very hope that perchance Dr. Nihilus might be somewhere in sight. Oh, oh please. Oh. To push or not to push, that is the question. Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms and by opposing end to die, oh, to sleep no more. Meatloaf. The eye, Meatloaf. No! Wait a minute. Who turned out the light? Are you would have snatched that. It's not true, it's bullshit. I did not. Oh, hi, Tim. Why aren't you celebrating? Isn't this what you wanted? They told me what I already knew. What's that? Life of the third. The search for meaning. Completely, totally, utterly absurd. So? So, there's no reason to continue living. <laughs> Nihilism for the win, right? No, that... that can't be possible. <laughs> See for yourself.
sense. What the hell? Life is meaningless? We never said that. Right, absurd. What the hell's the difference? Just because the search for meaning is absurd doesn't mean that meaning can't be found. But it's not official, right? My meaning of life is no different than the meaning of life of some common criminal. Killing, stealing, tax fraud. That's all fine then? At no point does the absurdity of life let you off the hook for being a dick. <laughs> that means there's no answer, right? There's no right way to live. There are many ways to live. Some of them are wrong. But to say there is only one correct path is to say that all other paths are invalid. Only you can t choose which is the correct path for you. How many people live your life? One. Take the promotion or don't. It's all up to you. And only me. Right. Is there any other questions? Reality. Do we get to exist? Is the audience not bored with us? Your little quest was quite entertaining for us, but I don't know how many reboots we can stand. We have a particular favorite we let you live in, but don't mess it up. You've only got one shot. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Are you ready? Actually, if you guys could validate my part... Breaking news, Dr. Nihilus has once again vanished. After the successful activation of his meatloaf device, he was sentenced to some sort of purgatory surrealist nightmare. We know this thanks to the incredible super spy, Tim Possible, who once again saved the world from the brink of collapse. Billions owe their lives to Tim Possible, and although try as we might to thank him, one lingering question remains. Where is he now? Eh, just over there somewhere. Where exactly? Uh, Florida. Oh. I know, I know. But it's a great opportunity. And it's what I've decided. Well, my boy, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And do make sure to catch some Pokemon for me, won't you? <laughs> sure thing, Kriegley. You're pretty dope. Have fun, I guess. Greg, that's the nicest thing I've ever heard you say. Thank you. Tim, I wish you well in all your endeavors, and uh, could you look up my cousin for me once you get there? He works there too. Name of Dick Tiger Shark? Dick Tiger Shark. Well, that won't be hard to remember. Will do, Sam. Well, sir, I don't know what to. I love you, Jeeves. I love you too, Tim. All right, Tim. You about ready? Well, I guess so. Please, ma'am, take care of our boy. We will, sir. We will. All right. Goodbye, guys. I love you all. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, cut and print. Oh, that was oh great, God. guys. Oh my God. The, the mic oh my was on this time. Any better. Yes, Finally. yes, I apologize yes. for um, that. Can we... A little lapse in judgment. Okay, me. whatever, whatever. Can we go get lunch? Okay. Yeah, yeah, lunch is provided Does anyone else have a cramp? Oh, why not do a stupid thing? Just for the shot. It's I mean, I love the, the guy, but that, that was ridiculous. With my other doctor, I just feel so... Unappreciated! I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. I'm in no way qualified to give you any sort of advice on this. Hi, I'm Caroline, and I played Sam Lemon. And I'm Paul. I played Skip. <laughs> <laughs> the film you just saw was a work of fiction. That means it's not real. <laughs> What made it not real is that it mentioned moving to Florida. You see, Florida has never existed, and it never will. <laughs> <laughs> if you or a loved one is talking about moving to Florida, please call the number below for some help. And, oh, atop the rooftop, I was fighting that 
uh, girl for, with who had knife for hands. Yeah, her so name was, cool. Yes, yes, you're so cool. Her name was Banner Slash. I know I was very cool. I did, I did wonderful. You're the best. Oh, yes, hey, we, buddy. Oh, hello. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing, doing I'm doing wonderful. Yeah. Me and Greg here just got back from an adventure where it we was saved so cool. the world. It was oh, cool. I'm sure you did, buddy. Oh, yes. This sounds great. Bringley was so awesome. Oh, would you like some candy? Oh, candy, thank you. Oh, Gregory, would you like one? Just for you, buddy. Oh, All oh, for yes, you. Yes. All for you. I'll take it then. Anyway, Gregory. Gregory? Huh. <sighs> it was all a dream, but it was so real. It was so real. It was so real. It was so real. <laughs> Man, Florida sure is hella whack. Hello, Tim. Who's there? I'm Kristoff, your creator. Do I know you? You've been a part of a massive television reality show. Well, can I leave? I love you, Tim. You're like a son to me. I, uh, I think I'm gonna go now. I ask you not to leave. Thanks, Ghost Dad. Oh shit! That's what it's gonna be like when I get older. You dork. Such a loser.